Prints mimic what we are as humans, we are all the same and yet everyone is different. Kiki Smith is a West German born American artist whose work has addressed the themes of sex, birth and regeneration. Smith specializes in printmaking, lithography, etching and sculpture. Some people describe Kiki Smith's artwork as a journey from the bodies hidden inside to the body's relationship with the outside environment. She says that she wants to show that the experience of being a woman is a universal human experience. This is a sculpture made in 2001 called Rapture. The means of Rapture embrace an older, deeper meaning that is fundamental to the worldwide concept of womanhood meaning shrink. Kiki expresses in this piece that this woman has overcome her attacker and fought to be free, becoming her own hero. The combination of the woman and the wolf is a repeated occurrence in Smith's artwork, and this reappearance starts to build a history for these two figures. The pair appears most frequently as the characters from the Little Red Riding Hood fairy tale. The intimate relationship between the woman and the wolf has roots in biblical, mythological, and feminist themes. The wolf's wilderness is tamed and both figures seem to nurture one another. Floating with the irrelevant space of the paper upon which they are drawn. This sculpture is named Daughter, made in 1999, and in this work, the artist imagines the Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf coming together as outsiders and giving birth to this. She has characteristics as a wolf and as a woman. Smith, Virgin Mary, created in 1992, is by no means a label image. According to Elizabeth Fawney, this Virgin Mary is formed from a combination of beeswax and microstylene wax, and the lightness of these materials challenges the idealized interpretation of the Dormition and Assumption. The removal of the figure's skin reveals the humanity of her flesh and connective tissue. This sculpture shows the audience that the Virgin Mary was at one point Point, a real and physical human being without putting her above any other woman. Made in 1994, Mary Magdalene, as a former prostitute, is usually showed with very long hair, indicating sexuality and badness. All that was recognized as femininity and detested by Christianity. Smith covers her body with hair like a wild woman and chains her leg like a tormented dancing bear as Era's connection describes her. Born was created in 2002 by Kiki Smith. Born is a piece of lithography. Lithography is a planographic technique that involves the printing of an image from a flat stone or metal plate which the artist draws with an oily crayon or liquid ink called Tusha. This work is not on view, but it is a series from which Smith created called The Little Red Riding Hood. It was created to show different endings from a fairy tale as well as making it more mystical. Born is representation of art. It focuses and is supposed to represent the fairy tale, the literary writing hood, but in a more mystical way. This artwork as well has a lot of organic lines, the way in which a lot of the lines are flowing and in curving appearance. Smith used a lot of primary colors on the woman and the little girl, and for the wolf, she used warm colors. She didn't really add a lot of shading in this artwork, she utilized more of a curious girl by making the background white and making the characters the emphasis of the picture. The texture is pictorial because you can't feel the fur on the wolf. 
This is a 2D artwork with an asymmetrical balance. Kiki Smith also used a lot of positive space by keeping the background white. She used equal proportions into the painting, making everything balanced. The process. Born was created between 1999 and 2002. Born lithographs started as an idea for a three-dimensional moving object in a unique series of the Smith plan to etch with images of resulting from the Little Red Riding Hood story. This is the bottom half of the painting in which it shows the little girl and the older lady are coming out of the wolf's stomach. They have blood on their dresses and that's how we know that they're coming out of the wolf's gut. We also see that the wolf is on its back and is bleeding from its mouth. In the top portion of the painting, we can observe how the little girl is caressing the lady's face and she's holding her from the arms and they're staring in each other's face. They're both wearing red capes as well. According to Smith, she also remade the child's face from a portrait that a family friend had made of her when she was a little kid. And the adult's face is a self portrait of her. In Smith's interpretation of Red Riding Hood, manly confidence and female victimhood make a way for a tale of spiritual strength and unity between two women, the granddaughter and grandmother who we will see here emerging uninjured from the bleeding wolf as is a reborn through death. Smith shows the girl and the wolf in most of her paintings. The combination of the woman and the wolf is a frequent occurrence in Smith's artwork, and this repetition starts to build a history for these two figures. The pair appears most frequently as characters from the Little Red Riding Hood. Kiki Smith really focuses on the nature of the woman and wants to portray women as supernatural heroes. Because we give birth, she really focuses on the woman and the wolf in the fairy tale The Little Red Riding Hood because she wants to give a different outcome of the story as a little girl actually defeating the wolf by herself and not needing the big man to come and save her out of the wolf's stomach, which gives a different meaning to the fairy tales. Because as we see other fairy tales, the man is always a hero. As to her other paintings, she makes the wolf and the girl be as one, like they are getting along with each other. This particular artwork changed my perspective in fairy tales as not to always needing or hoping for a man to come and save you, and the only person that can save you is yourself. For my personal artwork, I chose the baby in Clifford. I chose the baby to represent being born, and I chose Clifford because he's always portrayed as a nice dog. Also, I put the baby's hands up to represent victory.